I woke up on Saturday in Amsterdam around 9.30, extravagantly jet-lagged. What's six feet tall and should have woken up an hour ago? This guy. Then enjoyed the canal view from my window for a few moments before it occurred to me that I was naked from the waist down. So I got dressed, standard shot of brushing teeth, and met Henry's old babysitter, Marcia. We walked down to the apartment where I'd lived while finishing The Fault in Our Stars, a building a century older than my country, had an excellent cup of coffee while marveling at the fact that Amsterdam Spau Square contains more English-language bookstores than my entire hometown of one million people. I only had two free hours, so we raced through the Ben Heinhof, and then I paid to pee at the Loo, enjoyed some excellent graffiti, ate Vlaams of Friet, autographed some books, almost got hit by the tram, ate some herring, almost got hit by the cyclist, bought season two of Sherlock, and then walked down toward the Vondel Park to relive Gus and Hazel's wish. Here is the Hotel de Philosophe, and here is the number one tram, and here is the cafe at the old film museum in the park, and here is the tree Hazel looks at, and here are the Epen, which aren't yet snowing, and here is Peter Van Houten's house, and here's the Anne Frank house, which they don't let you videotape, and here's the view Hazel and Gus have sitting on the bench beside the Prince and Croc Canal after their dinner, and here is the bar where a guy threw a glass of beer at me when Ajax won their 30th league championship. I don't mean he threw the beer inside a glass at me. I I mean, he threw both the beer and the glass at me. And when I was like, hey, you know, we're both supporting the same team here, he said, and I am quoting him directly, ah! Right, that has nothing to do with the book. Back to Amsterdam. I had a series of interviews that afternoon in the hotel's fancy library where I would be all like, I had to reconcile myself to it before I could write, write it. God, I hope I sound less dumb when they translate that to Dutch. Anyway, this was all in support of the publication of Ein Vefout, I Don't Speak Dutch, the beautiful Dutch edition of The Fault in Our No Edge! Then I walked down to a canal boat where I took pictures of someone taking pictures of me, and I hung out with writers and journalists and my friend Yet, who has more courage than I do. We got to see the Central Library of Amsterdam on our trip, where I wrote much of The Fault in Our Stars sitting right there. And then we headed to a theater where I got to listen to a presentation about the mathematics in The Fault in Our Stars that discussed Venn diagrams and Hazel's incorrect assumption that there are more whole numbers between 0 and 2 than there are between 0 and 1. Then... Homo erotic watercolor Levi and Lada sang me a song about homoerotic Sherlock watercolors and presented me with Hulak artwork. Afterwards, I walked over to Blossom, which was the inspiration for the restaurant Gus and Hazel visit, and then got lost walking around the city. Hazel is wrong about infinite cardinality, but she's right that some infinities are larger than others. I wanted her to be wrong but right because that's how we muddle through as observers of the universe, forging meaning where we can find it, from fact and fiction alike. And as my brain drowned in jet lag, I thought of the months I lived here. So much of that time I was sick and crippled with anxiety, but all I could think about now, as night fell, was how much you can love made-up people, and how much you can miss them. Hank, I'll see you on Friday.